Hi, I'm Dr. Pompa. I'm here to teach you how to make your home safe, especially in a toxic world. There's about 80,000 chemicals that have been introduced into our marketplace, most of which have never been tested. When we look at making a home safe, we have to look at two things, clean air and clean water, and how do you get there? So in this tape, we're going to show you how we did both, Warren and myself, in our own homes. First, let's start with water. When you think about water, or at least water filtration, most people don't think of the need for whole house filtration. Well, I can tell you there's a lot of need there, because just when you're looking at a point of service unit, you're only filtering the water that you're drinking. However, the bigger problem is, what are you showering in, and what is being used in your dishwashers, and all the other water in your home? Now, the biggest problems with water today may surprise you, because most city water contains chlorine, which combines with organics that's caused something called trihalomethanes, which we know today cause cancer. Also, fluoride. Fluoride's being, being put into most water sources for thinking it's healthy for our teeth. Well, the truth is, is the fact that it causes cancer, especially bone cancer in boys. And now, if you've been watching the news lately, you know that drugs are a big problem in water. Matter of fact, city water is even tested for drugs. It's not coming out of our water systems. It's not being filtered out of the water systems. They're not even set up to do so. So guess where it's coming? It's coming right through our own tap water and into our bodies. So guess what? If the neighbor uh, is taking estrogen, you might be too. And guess what? That doesn't bode well for your boys as well. Um, so all the psychotropic drugs, all the antibiotics, we're finding it in our water sources today, which is a huge problem. And another big problem is this. If you shower, you're actually absorbing those same chemicals, the fluoride, the chlorines, the trihalomethanes, and the drugs. Matter of fact, one 10-minute shower is equal to about 11 glasses of just city water. So the need for whole house filtration, we're going to have Warren talk more about that at his house, and then we'll come back to my house and see what kind of things I have. Hey guys, welcome to my home. This is the water filtration system that I use, and it's the same exact one that Dr. Pompey uses in his condominium. Let me explain to you how this works. I mean, as we know, the main problems with public water supply, as we already discussed, is fluoride and chlorine gas, pharmaceuticals, other volatile organics, pesticides, herbicides. So we need to filter those out, and I'm going to show you how this system does it. This is a whole house water filtration system. So even my water main that's coming in, it's everything that in my house uses this water. And one thing I want to note before I show you the system is a lot of these newer condos and homes, they use plastic, which isn't good. Um, they got away from the copper line, so that's another problem that you, you, know, you can address with systems like this. The main, wa main water line just comes in. I bypass my whole um, manifold there, and it comes down into this system. This is called the Aquifer Plus uh, by a company known as Virgin Pacific um, Water Company. Is. But it doesn't get filtered here first. It actually bypasses this media through a tube down into this media. This media is called KDF, and it's a, a copper zinc alloy. And its main purpose, besides the copper pulling out some of the heavy metals, is that the zinc inside of here donates an electron. And that electron takes the, the chlorine gas and turns into chloride, which is safe um, and, and, and not toxic. Chlorine gas, as we know, is like mustard gas, highly poisonous. The stuff would kill you, and, and they and used it to do such in, in, in World War II, I believe. So then after it gets filtered out of here, it comes back up into this media, which is um, made called hydroxyl apatite. And hydroxyl apatite, the neat stuff about this for removing fluoride, which is one of the main toxins in city water, and this is a city water supplied system, is that this isn't pH sensitive, like an activated aluminum, where it doesn't, um, you know, necessarily based on the pH of the water coming in, have the ability to remove fluoride. This is very specific hydroxyl apatite, all pHs, and very specific um, for removing fluoride. After it comes up through this, obviously, it's now ready to go through what I call as a cleanup post-carbon filter. And the reason I, I put this on the unit is because there might be some remaining um, pesticides, herbicides, and other volatile organic compounds that need to be filtered. So it's kind of a final rinse before it goes out into my main system. So this is the stuff that I'm showering with, um, bathing in. Um, sometimes cooking in, but I'm going to show you the unit that I also use for drinking water and cooking water. And we're going to go there next. Come with me. All right, guys, we just got done discussing whole house water filtration and how that works. Now we want to discuss what's called point of service. This is a point of service unit. This is what you'll be drinking and cooking with. Now, you're, the question you might be asking us right now is why would you have a point of service unit when you just water, did water filtration throughout your whole home? Well, 
um, big whole house units can't take out pharmaceuticals and a lot of those units don't have the hydroxyl appetite and to be able to take out the fluoride so this is what this unit does it takes out hundred percent of everything and this is not this is more than an RO unit actually a lot of people are familiar with ROs this this unit is called a nature's balance and it takes out everything I'm gonna explain you how it does that so how does this particular unit work let me show you um, just like you know whole house water filtration you have a main input line which you tap into it comes in through this filter in this unit the first filter it hits is a five micron filter a five micron is just a real small pore size that cleans up any sediment or any chunks of iron or plastic that might have been in the water. That water is done, then goes into this first unit right here. This first unit, very similar to the whole house unit that we discussed that's in my condo and Dr. Pompa's, has a combination of KDF, the hydroxyl appetite, and coconut carbon. So it does a lot of the same things the whole house unit does. The next unit it um, comes to, the next filter, is an RO filter. And this, this filter, compared to like other RO filters at Home Depot and in other locations, it's a little bit, it, it's a better quality. It lasts a year to two years, this membrane, versus, you know, six months to a year. So it's a much better quality. The next um, filtration, which is more than RO, is a DI unit. DI means dissolved ions. This filter contains a resin that removes everything that's dissolved left in the water. So you have water that pretty much has nothing in it, like you would use in your chemistry class. But like most people understand is that a DI water is, is acidic, pH around 6 I believe. So we need to bring that pH back up. So the neat thing about this unit is it has a final, um, not really a filter here, but a media. And this media is four, four, typically about four parts calcium, I mean magnesium to calcium. So that adds in um, some dissolved ions, calcium and magnesium ions, which gets the pH above 7, guaranteed 7 to about 8.5 I believe. So after it is now has some ions back into it, it has a more basic pH, which is way more healthy as we understand because we don't want to be drinking acidic water, it goes from this unit, it travels through into a holding tank. Um, and a lot of, sometimes what you have with holding tanks is you get some of residual taste or odor from the, the bladder that's contained, contained inside of this unit. Um, and that's why they use this final polishing coconut carbon filter. And then your water's ready to, to drink, and it's actually with the, co the calcium and magnesium added, it's the best tasting water I've ever had from a Wazoo or RO unit like this one. Thanks, guys. Welcome back. You just saw Warren's uh, whole house filtration and his point of service unit. Um, they're incredible. That whole house filtration unit, I actually have the exact same one in my condo, not at this house. So in a minute, I'll take you downstairs and show you the whole house unit. But while I have you up here, this is my point of service unit. It's just a basic point of service uh, unit. It's a reverse osmosis. Uh, in the stores, you can buy them online or in stores for about $350 to $500. Uh, now, Warren's unit is definitely probably about double in price. However, as you saw, it's the Mac Daddy, typical for Warren. Uh, but it does take out 100% of the drugs in the water, where this does a really good job at taking out all the chlorine, fluoride, uh, and most of the drugs, but not all. So Warren had to outdo me with that unit, but that is the best unit on the market, and I recommend it. He got that after I got mine. So come on, let's take a look at my whole house unit. Okay, so here we are in my mechanical room where we have my whole house water filtration unit. This is a resin type of unit. So the water comes through the house, and it actually runs through resin pellets, and the resin actually binds the toxins from the water. Uh, however, this unit is definitely not a good, as good a unit as what Warren has in his house or I have in my condo because this unit doesn't take out the fluoride. It does do a really good job with chlorine and other toxins, heavy metals, um, and it even does good with a lot of the pharmaceuticals. And just to be sure, I still run it through a big block carbon just to make sure the, la the filtration is clean coming out of the unit. This is actually potassium pellets that we use every five days. It flushes and cleans out the resin, so you don't ever have to really change anything. There's, that's the one good thing about it. No filter changing. It all rinses itself with potassium. Okay, to wrap this up, I have to leave you some really convincing evidence that you, you need a whole house filtration unit. So I want to show you exactly where some of the hidden toxins are coming from your water supply. When you take a 10 minute shower, I said it's like drinking 11 glasses of water. Well guess what? You're doing this once or twi twice a day. I'm breathing in all this steam. It's going right into my lungs, right in directly into my bloodstream. It's worse than drinking water. 
All right, let's look at the second hidden source. Matter of fact, this makes number one on my toxic top 10 in homes. What you have here is people that use really toxic detergent for their dishes, unlike what we're using here, the Ecover, which is a healthy one, but they use the toxic detergent and in comes the city water, the two combined, and it creates a toxic gas that basically permeates your home about one liter every minute. Now watch this, because every time you open it, you get the toxic bomb right in your face, which is going up into the house. And you probably couldn't see that, but I just got bombed with a bunch of, I smell all this and the water. If that's toxins, you just breathe it in. And not only that, for a whole hour, you put toxins into your every square foot of your house. All right, so if that doesn't conv convince you, then I don't know what will. Um, but now we need to look at the second big problem to make your home safe. Let's look at how to protect yourself from your own air.